Welcome to this tutorial about Solaria, an IA voice, created by Eclipsed Sounds in partnership with Dreamtonics. It is a great tool for creating vocals, but it needs some tweaking to make it sound like a natural human voice. And that's what we are going to do now. Here's what you need. Synthesizer V Studio, either the free basic version or the pro version, which I would highly recommend as it offers some useful options to work on the vocals. The free Solaria Light Voice or the Solaria Pro package. In this tutorial, I'm using the free Light version. I will leave the links in the description. Now, let's start with the basics. Let's open a blank project in Synthesizer V. Choose the voice, in this case, I choose Solaria Light. Set the BPM. We leave the grid snap on a fourth quarter. Now I write the first line of the lyrics into notes. Many composers use an equal length for each syllable. That doesn't sound good, but let's see. I am Solaria an AI voice. Let's hear this. I am Solaria an AI voice. Oops, we hear that we must correct the spelling. Solaria knows most words, but sometimes you have to use phonemes or let your imagination play. That's what I'm trying to do now. Let's hear it again. I am Solaria, an AI voice. Better, but that singing doesn't sound human, nor beautiful. The length of the notes is most important to obtain a human sounding voice, so I'm varying the lengths and trying to adapt them to a rhythm of human singing. I am Solaria, an AI voice. The word voice definitely must be longer. The length of the notes now fits better, but still the voice sounds boring and not really natural, because the accentuated syllables in speech do not match the high punctuated notes. I am now trying to find a good melody that fits the rhythm of the sentence. I'm changing some notes. I am Solaria, an AI voice. Next thing we do is correct the loudness of syllables that are louder than others. It is natural that the voice gets louder when singing high notes, so it is a good programming for Solaria. But a very loud note can also disturb the hearing pleasure especially at the beginning of a sentence. So we have to judge carefully which sounds must be regulated in loudness. I am Solaria, an AI voice. Now we will try to give Solaria the pitch that enchants us most. As manual pitch correction is a very tricky thing, and often doesn't give the wanted result, I recommend to use the random seed function. We select all notes, we disable instant mode. Then we choose a new random seed for the whole line. I am Solaria, an AI voice. Not satisfying. So we will rerun with more random seeds until we like the output. It is your choice, either leave little imperfections that make Solaria as human as she can be, or work on every pitch until it is perfect. I am Solaria, an AI voice. This sounds quite good, except the letter I in AI. We will give it a new seat separately, without changing the other notes. I am Solaria, an AI voice. A regular curve centered in the middle of the note is the best sign that the pitch will be pleasing. The more curves, the more vibrato. Use it, it is so beautiful. But don't exaggerate if you want the voice to sound human. If you use very high notes for backing vocals, for example, you won't get a regular and pleasing pitch as well from a human singer as from Solaria. Solaria, 
Here's a little trick. A good pitch can be obtained by transposing down by an octave, renewing the pitch with a new random seed, then transposing back up. However, the voice loses its natural quality by that operation. It is programmed to sound different in different regions, just like a human voice. If you use such high notes, don't forget to put a strong reverb on the voice to make them sound less hard on the ears. For zooming out, I will give you a short summary of what we have covered and some additional recommendations. Crafting tones of gold